Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another laptop video. So basically today's video I'm going to be answering your most common questions about upgrading the RAM in the Acer Nitro 5 laptop. Now a few months ago I did a video showing you how to change it, so if you want to see that video I will put the link in the description. Um, but this video I'm just going to be answering the most common questions about changing the RAM. Um, you guys had a lot of comments. So this video I'm just going to cover the most common ones and hopefully it will help you guys out and save you a bit of time. So yeah, here we go. I've written them down. Well, kind of. My handwriting is pretty, pretty horrific. I mean, who needs, to, who needs to write things down anymore? It's text or an email nowadays. So anyway. Um, so yeah, the first common question I get is the megahertz. What megahertz should we get of RAM in our laptop? Now... My particular laptop, the megahertz is rated to 2,667, so that's the max max it will perform to. Now, you can actually put higher megahertz RAM inside the laptop, like from like on mine, for example, I've got 3,200. Now, it'll only go up to the 2,667, but if you put a bigger one in, it won't harm it. It just won't go up to that frequency. So, you can put a bigger one in if you want. Um, some of the newer laptops can actually handle up to 3200 so honestly it's really best just checking what your laptop can run and then going with that one because the higher frequency generally is uh, a little bit more expensive the only reason I've got that in mind is because it was really cheap so that's what I went with so yes you can have a bigger one in it but just check which one yours has got and then get the one that's right for your laptop so yeah, that's pretty simple. Um, the next thing I get asked quite a lot is, these laptops have two RAM slots, two channels. Um, and the maximum you can run in this is 32 gigabytes. Now, some people say, well, can I just put one 32 gigabyte stick in my laptop? Well, the answer is, yes, you can, but don't. Don't do that. Because if you think about it this way, you've got two channels. If you just put one 32 gigabyte stick in, then you've only got one channel working for you. If you have two 16 gigabyte sticks, then you've got two channels running for you. Dual channels will perform a lot better. So don't get just one stick, go with the two, and it'll run better. So yeah. Um, what's the max RAM? So yeah, the max is 32 gigabyte on this laptop. Um, I've been asked if you can go up to 30, you know, 64, but I mean, 32 gigabyte RAM for these laptops is more than enough. Honestly, 16 is perfect. So yeah, 32 is the max, but um, 16 gigabyte will be plenty if you're just gaming, stuff like that. I do a lot of editing, so the extra RAM can actually help me with editing. So. That's why I went with 32 gigabyte RAM really, but 16 is plenty. Um, yeah, the next thing I get asked a lot is, do I need to save data, save stuff? When I take the RAM out, will I lose data? No, RAM is just random access memory. Um, it just stores stuff there briefly to help your laptop run faster. So nothing is actually stored there permanently. So when you take it out, it doesn't matter you know it won't you won't lose anything you don't have to reset anything you can take them in and out and it won't affect your laptop so you'd have to worry about any of that um the other thing i get asked a lot is will ram help gaming and uh, will it help editing um the answer is yes ram does help um if you open your task manager and you go to the performance section you can actually see how much percentage your ram is getting used so if you've got only a gigabyte ram for example if you're gaming with that and you've got a couple of Internet Explorers open, you're going to see that your RAM is going to be pretty much maxed out. So having that extra RAM can let your laptop perform better. So yes, it does perform better with more RAM. Uh, the other thing I get asked is, when you change the RAM, do I need to unplug my battery? Do I need to ground myself? Um, the answer is, not really. Now, you can take your battery off or just disconnect it if you want. You can ground yourself if you want. I personally didn't. All I did was I just turned the laptop off. Um, I actually let the battery run out before, so there was no charge in the battery whatsoever. Um, the reason people say this or ask this really is because 
the motherboard when it's got voltage going through it if you're poking around you can actually short these out and cause damage so as long as you're pretty careful and it's turned off you, you'll be fine I mean when you're changing the RAM you're only changing those two little clips you're pulling them out to get the RAM out so you're not really poking around too much so you should be okay but if you want to do that just to be on the safe side then yeah go nuts go for it take you you know unplug your battery ground yourself if you want but honestly you don't really need to as long as you're careful um, and that should be you should be fine at that so yeah those are the most common questions I get asked um, Obviously the video did really well and uh, thank you guys for watching it, thank you for all the support you've given the channel, especially on the laptop videos. Um, if there's something else you want to see on the laptop videos please let me know and I'll happily look into it. I really enjoy doing the videos on the laptops and you know, even if this video helps one person out then it was worthwhile doing for me. So um, again thank you guys for the support, if you want to subscribe to the channel that's awesome. Um, any other questions just put it in the comments below and I'll happily... Um, try and answer them for you guys so um yeah that's gonna about wrap it up for this video so thank you very much for watching um look after yourselves guys and i will see you in the next one